What's up guys, Sax here. 10 days from now, Destiny Rising releases globally, worldwide, the game will be in your hands, in your pocket, and on various platforms for you to enjoy. Now you may be like me, and originally when I heard that Destiny was coming to mobile platforms, I was like, ah, I don't know if I wanna dive into that. I'm not sure that that's something I wanna get into, not really a mobile gamer. Let's talk about the few options that you actually have to enjoy this game, because when I played in the beta, I was incredibly surprised by the variety Variety, the scope, the world they're building, the different build crafting options you have available to you, the character system, and just the variety of unique Destiny fun situations you'll find yourself in. So let's talk about it. So obviously you see on screen, you can pre-register now to play on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store through your Android and your iPhone. A variety of paths there. It's gonna be on both starting exactly on August 28th. But you may say, Sax, I don't wanna play with touchscreen controls no matter how good they are. I don't like holding a phone. The phone gets hot in my hand. I don't like doing that. I don't have a phone that's good enough to render, do all these things. Maybe your connection's rough and you're like, I don't know how this is gonna play. Let's talk about your options. First off, if you don't wanna hold the phone in your hand, if it gets hot in your hand, you can play with a controller over Bluetooth. Both PlayStation and Xbox controllers can connect wirelessly as well as third-party controllers. Just use the Bluetooth options inside of your phone and then whatever controller you're using, whether it's the Xbox, the Microsoft support site or the Sony support support site, you'll be able to see that. If you're using a third party, you're just gonna have to look up. Just go on, I would Google how to connect X controller to X phone. Whatever you're doing, you should be able to connect that. It should immediately recognize that controller. Then you'll be able to use it for your platform. Let's get to the crux of today's video. What we actually want to talk about and what you're here to learn is how do I play Destiny Rising on PC? On a desktop, laptop, something of that sort, whether I choose to play on a controller or a mouse and keyboard, how do I do that? So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you're pre-registered and you want to pre-register on the Google Play Store. The emulation will happen through an Android emulator for your PC. So make sure you have a Google account, something that you can use on the Google Play Store and something that you could link between this account and then if you have a mobile phone, you could kind of seamlessly transition between them. And so you wanna have that. So whether that's a brand new account, you say, I don't interact with Google platforms, that's fine. You might create something just specifically for the game. Or if you do, use an existing account so you have access to that wherever you go. Next, you wanna go to moomooplayer.com, M-U-M-U-Player.com. You're gonna go in here, I'm on Windows, you can do this, but you can see here, you have Windows, Mac OS, I'm doing Windows today. So we're just gonna go through the process here. I'm gonna download this quick download, light download here. We're gonna install this. And as you're installing this, here's my experience from the closed beta. The closed beta, I had full access to be able to access my GPU on my gaming PC. However, remember that this game is created for mobile platforms, mobile GPUs, mobile CPUs, the amount of RAM that you would have on a mobile phone. So it's not very taxing on your computer. And you have a wide range of options for um, resolutions, for graphic fidelity, for input methods methods, mouse and keyboard or controller in, in various options. Now, there's a bit of finagling behind the scenes work that you gotta do to get your mouse and keyboard exactly correct, but you'd be able to do this. So what you can see here, I have now installed it. You can go in here and you can choose your device settings. And so if you're not familiar with how emulation works, Emulation acts as if you have an Android phone inside of your computer or inside of whatever device you're using. So you go in here and you select various options depending on the machine you're using. I'm using my, my gaming PC with a 3080 Ti, a ton of RAM. I think I have 128 gigs of RAM in this here. I have a ton of storage, basically a lot of processing power here. You're gonna choose this. Now, what I found is that you want to utilize the Vulkan graphics renderer for Destiny Rising. So keep it here on Vulkan. Performance setting, I'm gonna set mine to high because that's here. GPU usage strategy, these are all tunings or levers that you can play with depending on your device. But I did find the best um, option for my graphics renderer was Vulkan in the closed beta. Now this, this video, I'm doing this 10 days before. If there's new updates, things of that sort, I will put that out there for you. Next, you'll go in here, you'll select what you want your display to be. Now, obviously this thinks that you are playing on a tablet. And that's why you can get the widescreen. You say, Sax, well, if it thinks I'm on a phone, why is it so big? That's what you're doing here. So inside of these settings, these are where you want to tweak the device, air quotes, the device that you're playing on. Okay. So you take into consideration the machine you're playing on, go into 
the settings for the Moomoo emulator. You're not even in the game at this point. Moomoo emulator. I have a 2560 by 1440p screen and I can choose that and I can stretch the image out to that. And then I can go in here. I can tell it, hey, I want my maximum FPS. If I want to go up to the 240, I can go to 240 FPS. But I know on my current screen, 120 is about all that I'm going to benefit from. So I can drop this to the 120 mark. That will get me there. I can put an FPS counter if I want to. I can do V-Sync, which means if the game is producing lesser frames than what my screen can produce, it's going to try its best to match those together in the frequency. It's going to try to keep those as close as possible. And if you have a lot of tearing, you have a lot of artifacting on your screen. What my suggestion is, is divide in half. So if your screen could do 120 frames, then I would just bring it down to the 60 mark. And then you would be able to kind of have that smooth gameplay, not have to worry about frames dropping all the time, not have to worry about tearing happening on your screen. And you would be experiencing a better overall quality, especially if you want to bump these resolution settings higher, drop the maximum FPS. I would just keep it at the 60 mark if you're struggling and you can kind of play with it and, and bring it up by maybe 20 or 30, things of that sort. I try to go by sets of 30 when I increase my FPS. Going through here, you can see you can set different screen brightness. Again, this emulator thinks it's a phone. So think in that mindset. Don't think I'm setting it up for a PC. Think more of the mindset I'm setting it up on a phone that is displaying on my screen. That's what kind of helped me. You can go in here. You can choose what disk you want to write this to. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I think that a lot of these things are going to be overkill settings, things that you could tweak. If you know enough to get in here and tweak with the models and, and some of these things, you're probably just watching this video to see what my suggestions are, but you already have this set up for yourself. So if you're brand new, I would say just keep off the model here. You can go through here. There's all kinds of things in here. I think the main thing you're gonna have to touch will be the performance. You'll start inside here, make sure Vulcan's on here, tweak these based on, you can kind of see how many of your CPU cores, how many gigs of RAM it's gonna take and and utilize and then you can choose here okay do i want it to auto tune for itself my graphics do i want better graphics performance which means it's going to pull more more power and more resources to the emulator or do i want to kind of push it down i want the game to run but i don't have that much overhead so once you're in here we can go in and you can see it says that the device the android device is powered off so if you hit this play button what that's going to do that's effectively going to hit the power button on the phone we're going to allow and again you can see it's kind of loading up booting this device up for you. So here we are. Here is our Android device. This is an Android tablet. You can see up here, it thinks that the device is charging. It looks like it has Wi-Fi. You can go in here. It's pulling these different things in here because again, it thinks it's a phone or a tablet, a various device. So you will have a lot of the same things that you would have if you had an Android phone. Go in here. You can see the different storage options you have. Remember, this device is a tablet or an Android device. So if you've never used an Android device or if you're having issues, that's another way that you can kind of troubleshoot and look into this. When you're looking up Destiny Rising, like if you run into hangups or issues with emulation, because you don't just have to use this for Destiny Rising. You can use this for any kind of Android phone game or device, things of this sort, Android app store app that you are getting access to through the Google Play Store. You can do this. You can have your own unique Chrome browser inside of this. So if you say, okay, I want to contain everything Destiny Rising inside of this launcher, this is how you you can do it. You could go in here. You could have a Chrome browser. You could do this. So we're going to go in here to the Play Store. And what you'll see is you will sign in just like you normally would. So let me do this. I'm going to sign in. I'll be right back once I put my info in. And then we'll take a look at what this sees. All right, we're back. I have signed in now successfully to the Google Play Store. Now, this is just as easy as signing in with your Google account anywhere. So if you have two-factor authentication on, on any of your accounts, things of that sort, you'll still have to sign in. Again, this thinks that you're signing into a brand new phone or tablet or computer browser, something of that sort. So you're signing in. And once you're in, we're going to go ahead and get into the Google Play Store. Now, reminder. The game is not out yet. However, you can see right here, I go to the games tab, Destiny's first mobile sci-fi shooter pre-register today. Now I can click on it. I can click install. And then you see here up to two gigabytes. It's coming soon. Got it. I'm going to go ahead, get notifications. That will send you things to your email. And I am pre-registered for the main game. Now this was a full game during the closed beta. So this is going to be 
a big game coming in here. I believe it was north of 20 gigabytes. That's why I think the best way to experience Destiny Rising is going to be sitting at your PC and you'll have the option to play when you're on mobile, whether that's through the iPhone or Android stores. If you don't have one of those devices, but you do have access to some sort of laptop that has a Google Play Store that you can install, you should be able to, by Bluetooth, connect your controller or inside of Destiny Rising, you will be able to connect your mouse and keyboard. You'll have settings here. You can kind of see you have up at the top of the movement player. I have the keyboard and mouse, and then I also have a game pad option. There are schemes in here you can create. You can do different key bindings, things of that sort. So though this is not a review of Destiny Rising itself, this is how you can play Destiny Rising when it comes out on August 28th. I can't wait to hop into it. I hope to see you out there. And until next time, be blessed, y'all.